All right, so how's it going? Zim? <coughs> Sorry. So how's it going? My name is Jonathan from Audio Design Desk, and today I'm gonna to show you a couple new features and what we have here for Audio Design Desk and what we do here. So simply, we are our own DAW that we use the AI technology to help you sync audio to video in a much faster and more efficient way. Instead of the traditional having to find your sound in your sound library, having to drag and drop, manually sync the sound one by one, and if you don't end up liking that sound, you usually have to delete and start that whole process all over. So I'm gonna show you what makes us different compared to other DAWs on how we do audio for video here. So I'm gonna do this demo today with this John Wick 4 trailer here. And I'm gonna show you something that we have a brand new feature that we're releasing here at NAMM is this trailer has the original audio from the actual trailer itself. I'm going to need a gun. With all the sound effects and all the dialogue. But what if as a content creator, I wanna be able to practice doing my own sound design, but I still wanna keep the dialogue in there. It's hard for me to do sound design on top of what the original audio is, but we have an isolator feature here where it analyzes the stereo file and it will split the sound effects away from the dialogue. So now I can mute the dial or the sound effects. I'm going to mute And now I just have the dialogue here. So now that I moved all the original sound effects out of the way, now I could do a sound pass here. So I'm gonna go in and start showing you how we could do the sound uh, much faster than traditional softwares is because everything's a trigger-based system. So let's talk about the sound design for a second. In sound design, you have your cinematic hits, transitions, risers, and drones. So because our software is a trigger-based system, if I were to hit H, it's going to bring in a hit. T would bring in a transition, and R would bring in a riser. So I can utilize those tools and do a quick sound design pass by just watching the scene here. So let's say I'm going to start off with a cinematic hit right here, and I'm going to bring in a rhythmic element right here. And I'm just going to watch the scene where I want to put more sounds. I'm going to need so maybe right there I'm going to do a hit rise because it's going to go to this next scene right here. So I'm going to build some tension here. I'm going to need a And I'm going to bring in another hit rise right here towards the end. Ready, yeah. Cool. And then I think I'm going to add just one more hit title right when we see this here. So now it populated my timeline here, but it pulled randomly from our 75,000 sound library. But what if I don't like some of the sounds that it gave me here? In other softwares, I would have to delete and resync all this stuff, right? But if I were to select all the sounds that I don't want, I could just hit Command R. It's gonna replace with all new sound elements while keeping everything in sync where I placed the original sounds at. So this way you could do endless compositions. I'm going to move it, go. But let's say I want to fine tune it. So I know that this is a pretty aggressive trailer. So I'm going to go to the replace window right here. And this is where I can adjust the parameters to fine tune what type of sound I'm looking for here. So I'm going to bring the intensity to about four and five. And I know I want it to be more organic sounds, like some drums and more like metallic hits. So I'm going to just type in a keyword organic here. And now it's going to narrow down our 75,000 sounds all the way down to the sounds that best fit high intensity organic sounds here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the sound design here. And I'm going to replace it, and now it should give us some more intense organic sounds. Let's take a listen. I'm going to need a gun. Awesome. I love how it sounds. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the rhythmic right here at that last hit because I want to focus on the dialogue right here. And I'm gonna just cut this riser just a little bit short here. You ready, John? Yeah. Nice, and I'm just gonna move this right here. But let's just say I want to re replace this one sound, like this one I want to replace this hit here. Instead of doing the replacement parameter here, I can also hit option up and I can replace it directly on the timeline. I can still look for different parameters here. And say you like that sound right there, you just hit enter. Boom, instantly replace it on the timeline while keeping things in sync. So now I have my sound assigned to how I like it, but now we start focusing on the sound effects. We have a couple things going on here where I wanna add some sounds here, like where he's reloading the gun right here. Uh, there's a fight scene going on. So I'm gonna go to our trigger window and I actually already made a preset for this scene here. And if you see these numbers up here, these represent my numerical keypad on my keyboard. So if I were to hit number one, we're gonna get some of these reloading sounds. So every time I see where I want to perform the sound, I just hit one, and so you get to pull it on the timeline here. So I'm going to go and go through, just scrub through the timeline here really quick. He's reloading the gun right there, so I'm going to press one. I see him reloading it again right here. I'm going to press one as well. 
I'm going to need God. Perfect. Now that next scene, I want to get a sound of me like a gunshot for the transition. So I'm going to press five right here and it's going to bring in a gunshot because I already signed it to my triggers right here. God. So then now we have these fight scenes here and I want to show you that on number two, I have these punching sounds and I have some whoosh sounds for all the motion and movement. So I'm just going to scrub through like right there. I'm going to hit two and three, which is going to bring in those two sound effects. And I'm going to do it one more time right there. Two and three. And then right here, he's moving his weapon, so I'm going to hit number three to bring in that whoosh sound, followed by one more kick. Let's just take a listen to what that did here. I'm going to need God. Perfect. So let's just keep moving forward real quick. So now we have a scene where he's driving the car and he's about to shoot the gun. So number five is my gunshot sound effect, but I also want to show you on number four, I got a sound of a driving car driving by. So when I hit number four, it's going to bring in the car driving by. All right, and then last thing, we have a quick little gunfight scene right here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just scrub right through. I'm gonna hit five right there for the gun sound. Another five right there, five. And then right here, he's moving his weapon. So I'm gonna add those wish sounds that we had on number three, followed by another pistol gunshot. And one last one right here to end the scene. So now I have all the sound effects that I want, but let's just take a listen to how everything sounds here. I'm going to need God. You ready, John? Yeah. Awesome. So it sounds really good. But one thing I also want to show right here is some of the sounds are pretty loud. And I could go to each individual sound and hit shift up and down to either go up and down in decibels. But we had this new feature here called the auto game where if I select all of our sounds, I can adjust the target level left standard to what I want it to be at. So I'm just going to bring it to about negative 18, and that gives me enough headroom where I know I want to mix it later on in another software. So I'm going to just click apply, and now we should have an actually a better balance of all the sounds here. God. So you can see that all the sound effects now just fit right below the uh, the sound design, so it's not too much in your face right there. So now that I have all the sounds done, that's essentially what we could do in Audio Design Desk, but I want to show you one other feature that we have as well. So say you're a video editor and you like to edit your videos in another uh, NLE. So I'm going to show you a quick extension that we have available for uh, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, and Premiere. And I'm going to go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve real quick. Cool. So it sounds like perfect for the scene. And let's go right back to this John Wick trailer. So I have the project in here. I have no audio, but I want to get that audio onto uh, from Audio Design Desk. So how to do that, we go to the workspace, go to our ADD audio bridge extension, and I'm going to quickly go back to Audio Design Desk, and I'm going to select DaVinci, and I'm going to turn on all my timeline to sync. And then you'll notice that I now control the timeline in Audio Design S for Resolve. This helps me work simultaneously back and forth when I do my video editing and audio editing. So since we already did the audio, let's go ahead and just import it. We get two options here. So if I had sounds on DaVinci that I want to bring into Audio Design S, I would import the timeline sequence. But we're trying to bring the sound out of Audio Design S. So we're going to go send from Audio Design S, click timeline sequence, and it, now it's going to populate our timeline in Resolve with everything we had on Audio Design S. Just like that. You ready, John? So Perfect, and I love it. So that's the power of audio design S, where we have a new integration of syncing audio to video in a much faster and more efficient way, and we're bypassing all the boring and tedious process of adding audio to video.